everyone. So today I wanted to do a get ready with me drugstore makeup tutorial. Normally I use a mix of high-end brands and drugstore brands, but I understand that most of us can't afford or don't want to go and hunt down the high-end brands. For me, until about a year ago, I didn't own any high-end brands because I couldn't get my hands on them. I like actually going to the store to purchase things, and the closest Ulta or Sephora to me was about an hour away, and I wasn't willing to make that drive when I had a Target full of drugstore makeup. The only thing that I won't be doing drugstore today is my eyebrows, and that is because I have never been able to find a drugstore eye pencil or filler that um, doesn't make my eyebrows look strange or look orange. And powders and pencils don't really work that well for me. So I did use the Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown. So I did use the Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown and my Maybelline Great Lash, which is drugstore, in clear to set my eyebrows. An alternative to the dark brown is um, the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in taupe. It is a great alternative if your brows, if you actually have eyebrows, unlike me, mine are very, very thin and practically translucent. But if you have a little bit of brow to start with, I would definitely suggest using this as an alternative to the Anastasia. So I'm going to pin up my hair and get started. There we go. Um, all of the brushes I'm using today, well, most of the brushes, if not all, I'm using today are Real Techniques, which can also be found at the drugstore. You can also use your fingers. They're the best tools you have. And, oh, yeah, my hands look like a disaster right now. That's because I'm in the process of stripping and repainting our coffee table. I probably put like 10 to 15 layers of paint on the thing over the past five years and I need to strip it down, start from scratch and it's destroying my hands. I have like no nail polish on. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, I am starting with my CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1. This is my very favorite drugstore foundation in 810 Classic Ivory. I'm just putting a dot on my finger. And just dotting it all over my face as usual. And then I'm grabbing my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend this in. Oh, you'll probably notice my nose looks a little bit rough here. Um, if you are into this kind of thing, if you step, if you keep up on this kind of thing, or you have allergies, you will know that it is going to be one of the worst allergy seasons in years because of winter lasting so late, everything's blooming at once, and I'm feeling it. It is wicked, so I have been constantly blowing my nose, which means it feels like sandpaper level rough right now. But I just mixed in my foundation real quick. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind under eye concealer. And I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes, just with my fingertip. Um, as for my favorite drugstore brands, if you look at everything I own, my top three are, in order, NYX, Maybelline, and Revlon. Those are like my three absolute go-to, gotta have, love it, um, drugstore brands. All right, now that I have those dark circles somewhat covered up, I'm going to move on to covering up the acne, which has also decided to make an appearance this week, and last week too. I'm using my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in, do, 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 do. what color is this? Fair. I think this is either the lightest or the second to light. 
And I'm going to dab that on my chin, on this evil spot on my forehead that will not go away. And the rest is doing okay. <laughs> I am, you'll notice I'm very, very sparing when it comes to concealer. Because my skin is dehydrated, I find that the more concealer and the more foundation and powder and the heavier of a base I put on my face, the worse my skin can look, depending on how dehydrated it's feeling that day. So I just tend to stay on the lighter side, and you know what? A few blemishes peek through, everybody's got them, no big deal. Now that's different if I am doing makeup for photography, in which case everything's covered. But anyway, um, next I'm moving on to doing my bronzer. I'm using my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny, which I am absolutely in love with. And my Real Techniques Contour Brush. Just under my cheeks. This is very, very close to what my normal everyday makeup is. And then I just thin down the tip of my nose just a tiny bit because it's more rounded than the rest of my nose so it looks kind of like it doesn't match quite as well. There we go. Done with that. Next, I'm grabbing my NYX Illuminator in Narcissistic and a duo fiber brush. This is Sonia Kashuk. Just going to put this on the tops of my cheeks, then the center of my nose, center of my chin, Cupid's bow, and the center of my forehead. Right, next I'm going to grab my NYX blush in Pinched. For this I'm using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And just lightly dabbing it in. And just blending it out onto my cheeks. Alright, next I am moving on to my eyes. Normally, I would use the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but if you don't have an eye primer, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils are excellent for that. Um, if you have incredibly oily eyelids, um, these may crease on you. For me, even though my skin's oily, these don't crease. I take them just up to the crease and not past. The color I'm using today is Pure Gold, because that is the shade of eyeshadow I'm going to be doing. Just going to pop that on both lids. So we're going to blend that out. And next I'm going to grab my eyeshadow. Today I'm using one of the Wet n Wild Trios in I'm Getting Sunburned. I used this in another video I did recently and I love it. I think it's so pretty. I'm going to be using the bottom shade right here, the gold. I'm just grabbing my Real Technique shading brush. And I'm going to pack the gold shadow just all over my lid up to the crease. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Alright, and I'm going to grab a second Wet n Wild palette. This time I'm using Walking on Eggshells. This is another trio. And it has some gorgeous colors in it. I'm grabbing a Sonia Kashuk shading brush for this. And I'm going to be using the crease and the brow bone color. I'm actually going to grab the brow bone color first. And just pop that right under my eyebrow and in the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go in and grab the crease shade on the other side of the brush and just blend that up into the crease. This is such a fast, easy look. Um, you can even do this with one brush if you want to. 
Just wiping it off in between. That simple. Our eyeshadow is done. Um, I'm not doing anything on the lower lids because the gold is so strong. I'm going to grab my eyelash curler. It's just a basic Revlon eyelash curler. I've probably had this one going on seven or eight years now and it has not failed me yet. All right, for mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Falsies Flared. This is still my favorite mascara. And I'm going to skip doing my lower lashes. I definitely want my eyes to have a very bright, wide awake look, so I'm skipping pretty much doing anything on the bottom. Next, I'm going to grab my NYX Retractable Eyeliner in black. This is my very favorite eyeliner for using on my tight line. Just going to tight line my eyes real quick. Please excuse the funny faces. I wear contacts and I hate doing my inner liner. It's just so uncomfortable. All right, now that that's done, our eyes are completely finished. And all we have left to do are our lips. So I'm grabbing my Revlon Just Fitting Kissable Balm Stain in the shade Smitten. I love the look of pink and gold together. And I'm just going to top that off with my NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait. And here's the finished look. It's super bright, super pretty, and is a perfect summer drugstore look. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on my website, which is joannabrooks.net, and on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I am pretty much everywhere. All the links for that are below. And I will also put all the products I used in the down box as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.